fond memories. I've spent many days uh, coming over, repairing windows at the door, working on the door. John Jarrett's memories date back to the 1950s. Well, we owned it growing up. In fact, by that time, the Jarrett family had owned this house for about a century. I'm sixth generation Jarrett. A proud history intertwined between the Jarrett family and this home. I mean, to me, that's awesome to have a, a, a black family own real estate in the early 1800s. You know, that's almost unheard of, you know. But the Jarrett House, as it's referred to on Pocahontas Island, is a historical mecca, you know is much older than the Jarrett family, and so much more. I just think it's great to be a part of history, to have a historical landmark that hopefully will be, mean something down the road, indicative of free blacks pre-Civil War. It was constructed circa 1810, 1820. And where the house was built is key to this story. Right here on Pocahontas Island, we have the debatably the oldest and largest free African-American community established even before the Civil War. And today? It's the oldest building on the island and the only one remaining constructed in brick. And as rental property, its lineage has touched the lives of many in the area. Why well, was so important to the island? Because a lot of my history arrived from this. When I know the Waltons used to live here, the Brown family used to live here, and all those dated back as free Negroes into slavery. So a lot of my ancestors, they live here. So. This house represents the past. But its condition has been in question for many years. Then in 2014. Preservation Virginia listed Pocahontas Island amongst their yearly list of most endangered sites. And they specifically called out the Jarrett House as well as the Underground Railroad House that we lost a few months ago um, for their importance to the community. We don't want to let history get lost which is one reason the Jarrett family donated the house to the city of Petersburg back in the early 1990s. I really hope that it becomes a, 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 a point of, a his, historical point of interest to bring tourists and expose not only the house, but Pocahontas Island being a free black community. Wayne's World received special permission to go inside the two century old historical building. Structure as a whole hasn't been modified very much other than there used to be rare additions. And these walls may still be original to when the house was built 200 years ago. If you look at the, the plaster, you can see horsehair that was used as, as a binder back in the early 1800s. So th this plaster is original to the house, I would think. And soon federal grant money and a donation from the Cameron Foundation will be used to stabilize the house, which may be in better condition than many think. The bones are here. Bones are definitely here. Good news for the Jared family. The younger generation, that mindset is not like owls going back. We need to expose them to that because otherwise it could get lost. We really need to teach it. A new roof put on the house after the 1993 tornado is believed to have saved the house from collapse. But the money being spent now and over the next six months is just enough for stabilization, not enough for full restoration. Ultimately, the goal is to have the house be used for community events and to preserve the spirit of those who prevailed and overcame when the odds were against them. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Colville, CBS 6 News. An important piece of history that we really need to save.